Hello, Alan Steady here again with Firewalls.com. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating how to create a guest wireless network on your Sophos XG firewall. To get started, we'll first need to be logged into the web admin of the Sophos XG firewall. Here in our web admin, we'll start by selecting protection, followed by wireless protection and wireless networks. Here in our wireless networks, we'll select the add button, followed by the name. Just go ahead and call this our Wi-Fi guest. Enter in a description. followed by the SSID that we'll be broadcasting and the security mode just leave this set to the WPA2 enter in the passphrase or our pre-shared key and one thing to keep in mind for our guest wireless networks we do also have the option to configure hotspots for the guest wireless network and part of that could be a password of the day where a password will actually automatically be generated and you could just provide those to your guest wireless users we'll demonstrate that in a separate video and moving on here for our client traffic this is probably the most important portion for the guest wireless network you do want to be sure that we have selected separate zone here as this is the portion that will make sure that our guest wireless network is completely isolated from our internal network or really any other networks that we're going to be configuring on our firewall select the appropriate zone for your guest wireless network we'll just leave our set to Wi-Fi enter in the IP address for our guest wireless network this address will ultimately be the default gateway for the guest wireless network so essentially it's pretty much like a wireless network interface just be sure that the IP address here that we're using doesn't conflict with any other networks that we have or will have on our network. Define the wireless network's net mask. We'll just leave this set to our default full class C network. And here under the advanced settings, we do have some additional options such as the encryption, which we'll go ahead and change to TKIP and AES. So if our end user's device is compatible, we'll offer them a more secure connection as well can also change the frequency band. We can select whether we're just going to broadcast this network on a 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz. We'll just leave this set to broadcast on both. And then another great feature here with our Sophos XG firewall is our time-based access, which will allow us to only broadcast this network during a said time, which is really nice because as much as we like our guests, we certainly do want them to leave and not just sit out in our parking lot and piggyback off of our internet. We can also add a little bit of security here for our guest users by enabling client isolation, which would just mean that these devices on our guest wireless network can't really see each other, or in other words, they are isolated from each other. We can also hide the SSID. Probably don't really want to do that here for our guest network, so we'll leave that disabled and select whether or not we want to enable fast transition. We'll leave this set to the default as disabled. Select Save where we could see that our Wi-Fi guest network has been successfully created. We can go ahead and select this configure DHCP server, which is actually really nice. I like that feature. We'll give the wireless guest DHCP server a name. Leave the interface as it is. Enter in our DHCP IP pool. So we'll lease IP addresses in the range of 172.16.50.100 to 172.16.50.200. Can enter in any kind of static IP MAC mapping, which we probably won't be doing with our guest wireless network. We'll leave our subnet alone and move on down here to our gateway where we want it to, where we will want to select to use our interface IP as the gateway. And we can also adjust our lease times as well as enable conflict detection and configure a DNS server. We'll just go ahead and select save here where we could see our DHCP server has been successfully configured. Now we'll go ahead and just jump into our access point here. Select protection in our menu, followed by wireless protection and access points. What we need to do now is tell the access point to broadcast our wireless guest network. Select the access point that's going to be broadcasting the guest wireless network. And here inside of our access point, our wireless networks, we'll select the add new item, followed by selecting the guest network and apply, followed by save. We could see here our local Wi-Fi Zero access point has been updated, so it's now going to be broadcasting our guest wireless network. So now the only thing left to do is to create our firewall policies or network policies for the guest wireless network. We'll demonstrate this in a separate video. That's it. Thanks for watching.